All right, all right, all right. Okay, so it's week one for me at the end. For you, I'm guessing you'll see this more closely to the end of week two. Um, but I just want to say I have at this point on the Friday, uh, the first Friday of the semester, graded uh, work that has been submitted. And what's really cool for me is that there has been at least several of you that have actually now working ahead. Um, and so I can see the work that's coming in. And I really feel great about the start we're getting here, which is that there's been a few people that have had a little bump here and there, but at least for what has been submitted so far, it seems like people are on track with um, the way I've asked to ask you to format work and submit work and it seems like the you know the pushing to github seems fine all that so that's really cool so now we're entering the phase of this class or the part of this class where we're going to uh, once a week now right so we'll alternate the um, JavaScript the weird parts and the free code camp on the alternative due date but for every uh, I think this is a Monday night item we can look in a minute but for for here until we get to the develop part of our class right so I think for four weeks we'll do uh, code along or code up I call it from the book uh, from the Big Nerd Ranch which I really really like this book as you probably have already heard me say and the reason I like it is that it takes you know the hopefully the skill you're gaining from free code camp the concepts that we're uh, give, giving to you or giving to they are giving to you as far as JavaScript and word parts and we're saying okay now let's actually create something because ultimately that's what development is about is actually creating something so I'm going to walk you through the work they have to do but I'm also going to walk you through what I did uh, during the summer when again I did everything I'm asking you to do uh, and I did it myself and I really found uh, like everything in life you know that thing that somewhat feels a little challenging ultimately be it ends up being totally rewarding because you moved from your comfort zone and that's just life right like here's your here's your comfort zone and here's the magic so you know get out of that comfort zone and get into the magic of life which you know I I find this <laughs> field to be at times for sure so way exciting so let's go ahead and move uh, in and I'll show you what you uh, what you need to do and just talk about a few other things Okay, so as I said, here we are at week, um, the uh, last item in week three, and it's the code up, okay? So uh, hopefully you all have your books by now. I did um, go over to the bookstore, so that if you don't have it, it is available in the bookstore. They, they bought probably more than they're going to need, but they chose to do that. Um, but I, you know, I gave you a link to Amazon, so you get to choose where you want to buy this book. So what you're going to do is, uh, you know, we're starting uh, on page 101, okay? So what that means is the first 100 pages of this book is really a review of HTML and CSS. And as I've said before, the more you understand about the code, um, that is starting for where we're at. So all this stuff in the beginning uh, to this place is really what I would expect you on your own to go and review to make sure you understand how that flexbox works, how they, you know, how that page is set up. And the reason you want to know that is when we get to our part of the develop, right, you'll lean upon that or you'll find another way you want to lay out your pages. But having at least an understanding as we move through this work is going to be important. OK, so just to now talk about the work itself. So what you will do is you'll work through these pages. And in my write up, I talk about that. I recommend you read um, reading the pages first. And then going back and coding along, okay? That's just that's my recommendation based on the way I felt was the best way to gain some of these wonderful insights, skills, and knowledge, and all the rest of it. So, but however you do it, you need to have a git commits, right? So as you add things, right, as you modify, then I want to see in your ultimate push of this work that you've done because we're taking that base autogram. Um, site 
from uh, that I had you set up in the set up your development environment we're taking that and now we're walking through the code from here on out so what I want is after and you'll see this in the book so you know I'm not gonna you can we can go through just the words but you will see this in the book is after you finish the anchor tags do a git add and a git commit right after you do the string variables do a git add git commit and after you write the um, detailed function git add git commit all right so that's that's how you walk through the work you know as far as just completing it so first code along and by the way also and, and i need to say this in here and i will modify my write-up uh, so let me just come back for just a second and also make sure your code is working right so if i look at your code and there's errors in there yeah i'm going to mark off for that and it you know the other thing is you have ultimately where the code ends up so if you get stuff you can go look at it but the idea is not to grab that code and by the way that wouldn't work anyway because that code is for the end of it and really this is part of why I'm asking for the git uh, commits all the way through so that you have that but I just want to say you know make sure your code works make sure there's no errors in it um, it's an important part of this Okay, so that's what you're going to do here, right? And then once you complete, so now that we've talked about it, let, let me first, before I go and do this, let me just show you a couple of things. One thing is that on the website, there is also underneath here an interactive forum, which I have signed up for, and I've read some of the comments, and I've reached out for a couple of questions that I had. So that is another way that you can connect in, at least with the I don't know if the authors are in here. I don't know if Chris and Todd are, but I know there are other folks from the Big Nerd Ranch in here. So those are uh, that's another uh, mechanism that you have that you might find as we move into the next project uh, helpful or even this one. OK, but here's what I really wanted to show you as I was looking at right the idea uh, of of how this flows and I decided and if you ever wanted the full link to the schedule I went ahead and brought it up so here we are we're in our first part of what I refer to as the apply right so this is where we're taking and we're actually building something we're applying these concepts we're learning and then we'll do this for three weeks and then you will spend two weeks actually creating something Okay, now what I ended up creating was this, uh, and you know, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I don't know why we're so obsessed with cats and kitties, but we are, so there you go. And I'll show you some of this code as we get a little farther along, but I just want you to see what I took. And, and again, you can look at ultimately what we end up with in the autogram, uh, but I decided a kitty cat match would be fun, right? So you interact uh, with the pictures, they flip over if there's a match, uh, otherwise try again so I'm, I'm publishing some messages down right so try again right uh, and then if you get one right then it takes it it removes it from the dom and it's just fun right so it was just fun there's definitely i'm going to do a refactor on this code and if you've never heard that term a refactor is the idea of like once you write something you go back and you're like you know what i could have done that so much better so before i show you the code in, in probably next week i will uh refactor the code that's in here okay so i just want you to see because again the idea here is as we work through this i want you to keep the end in mind because when we when you see um, the requirements and i will have laid them out in 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 detail of what i want you to do because i will i want you to do a written part of this where you actually plan out what you're going to do maybe what's called a user story you'll see that up on the free code camp and then you'll start the development and then you'll finish uh, your development in this week so the other thing about this just to keep in mind is that this um, this is a bigger part of this class as far as a percentage so each one of these develops are with 4.17 percent of your grade okay so that tells you how important it is uh, in my view uh, of what we're doing in this class okay so back here so here's what I want you to do right um, now that you've seen uh, what I've created and you know the concept of where this uh, part of our class is going um, so in, and actually I should put a different heading here because this is right doing the work for uh, walking through the book and I just talk about I want you to now add in your 
develop directory and index.html and give some thoughts and words to what you might create for the develop part of this course. Okay, so then modify your base HTML well, document to include this new page, right? And do the normal workflow that we do. So that's that's the part, right? So where you uh, once you get ready, you push all this stuff up into your repo, and then you provide me a link. Okay, so I do happen to have on uh, already loaded um, my Windows version here, and I did notice uh, that uh, Visual Code. Uh, Visual Studio Code has updated a new version for 64-bit. So if you're running a 64-bit operating system, that would be awesome to get. I haven't. I'm not going to do it yet, and not going to do it while I'm running a video. That would be nuts. So here's where, right? So here's the work you'll be doing in here. You'll be creating a new file in here, and that book's going to walk you through it. So I'm not going to. Uh, but this is where you'll be doing uh, the work, most of the work for here. But in addition, I'm going to have you in the in the develop directory create the new index.html file, right? And in here. Uh, I want you to, and you, you can use, you know, use some headings here. I'm going to maybe in the next couple of weeks, maybe have us go back and update some of our index files to have something a little more uh, expressive of who we are individually. So just know that that's coming. But in here, I want to see, right, at least some of your first thoughts around something that you might want to create for this part of the course. And then make sure you update that index file to include that new um, develop uh, that index file under develop uh, and this link is should already be there from what we did set up so you don't have to do that you could put something if you wanted uh, verbalizing you know the current uh, update any content here around that uh, I'm not going to force that but I think that's a nice way to do it so that you can see the status of where you're at uh, for at least the walkthrough of the code up okay okay so um, let me go back here and go back here. All right, so hopefully that gives you uh, the overview of what you need to do to complete this work and an idea of why, of where its importance lies in the class and um, getting you thinking about. Again, as you're doing this work, I want you to be thinking about, because here's what will happen. Uh, and it happened for me, it was that I gave some thought to what I wanted to do, but when I got to that item in, in my schedule where I actually had to set and do it, it took me like half a day to actually set and think about what I would take or what I'd want to create based on the skill set that we had acquired through the book. So if you're doing that thinking now, you're going to end up creating something that's more uh, in line with you know, or at least something that may be more enjoyable and you've thought through. And that's really the idea here. And you will see me every one of these assignments um, for the book have you continue that process of thinking about what you might want to create, right? Because the idea of, you know, images, interacting with images, showing some kind of responsiveness, is just basic stuff. And learning how you use JavaScript to do that and in the way the book shows, right, is a wonderful way to begin uh, in the development process because anything you do is going to need that basic functionality and there's many ways to do it and we're using you know pure JavaScript to do it, use it but man these days as as you have you may have seen uh, on the web there's so many different frameworks but these frameworks are wonderful but if you know vanilla HTML <laughs> vanilla JavaScript you can pick up these for frameworks because many people will often pick up a framework before learning the pure JavaScript and it should be the other way around because once you understand how vanilla JavaScript works, um, learning a framework is much, much easier. Okay, <laughs> it's my soapbox for the day. Enjoy your day, enjoy the rest of your week and you will see me on the next assignment.